All right, folks, welcome back. Uh, in this video, we're going to still be sticking with periodic trends and how they relate to chemical behavior. So let's look at this problem. It says, which of these elements exhibits chemical behavior similar to that of oxygen? Now, uh, if you remember from class, that's if you're in my class, and if not, then from my videos, uh, where we've discussed uh, periodic trends, uh, how things increase, how things decrease, and going up a column, going down a column. But anyway, when they start talking about uh, chemical behavior and if something is similar to it, what they're basically asking you is, what is the relative to the oxygen? In other words, like its cousin uh, in its family tree. Now, in, in a crude explanation of this, uh, the easiest way to think of family trees on the periodic table is to basically... Think of the trees being just vertical uh, top trees, okay? So basically these are your families, okay? Your groups, you know, our columns, you know. That's what we're, you know, so used to referring to them, you know. So your trees on the periodic table are, are your columns, your, your families. So that's one nice name that they've used is families. So in the question that's been presented to us, they want to know uh, which one exhibits chemical behavior similar to that of oxygen. So since they're wanting to know it for oxygen, what we're going to do is we're going to turn our eyes to the oxygen family. So we're going to look at this entire column of oxygen. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. Okay. Now look at that entire family. Okay. Now which one is similar to it? Well, let's look. Uh, they have sulfur, which sulfur is in this family. That's really good, and it's really close to oxygen as well. So let's just keep looking. Magnesium, wow, magnesium is is way, way, way over here. There's no way they could be related. They're not in the same family, okay? Uh, chlorine, chlorine's kind of close to the family. It's next to this, this tree, this group, this family. Um, and then sodium, sodium is way over here, so... Really looking at it, it's kind of like, I don't think I'm related to you, NA or MG. You know, the CL, at least it's next door, but, you know, it's still not in the same family. It's not in the same group. So it looks like our answer on this one is going to be sulfur. So anyway, uh, I hope this, I hope that this was helpful. And if you want to know how this relates to trends, it's a pattern, okay? So anyway, I hope that this is helpful. So anytime they ask you if something is similar to an element or to an atom, all you need to do is look in the column that it's in and you're done. All right, guys. I hope that this was helpful. So if not, watch it again. And if you need to, shoot me an email and I'll do my best to answer your question. Y'all have a nice night or day.